Welcome to this amazing adventure all about magnets. Today, we'll discover how magnets work, why they can pull certain metals, and how they make our world more exciting. I'll be your guide, and we'll journey through invisible forces, tiny particles, and marvelous examples of magnets in action. Even though magnets might seem simple at first, they actually do some pretty magical things. By the end of our adventure, you'll see that magnets are part of our daily lives in many ways, from sticking artwork on the fridge to powering big electric motors. Imagine you're holding a magnet in your hand. It might be a small, colorful magnet you use to hang pictures on the refrigerator. When you bring it near something made of iron or steel, you feel a gentle pull. That pull is called magnetism. It's an invisible force that makes certain metals cling to the magnet. Sometimes you can even pick up small nails or paper clips with it, as if the magnet were a tiny superhero with the power to attract. But what's really happening inside that magnet? Where does this special pulling force come from? Inside every magnet, there are teeny tiny bits called electrons. Electrons exist in all matter, but in a magnet, they're lined up in a special way. Picture a large crowd of people dancing. In a regular piece of metal, the dancers' electrons are all facing different directions, so their dance doesn't create a big overall effect. But in a magnet, those dancers are lined up in the same direction creating one strong, unified movement. This unity gives the magnet its power to pull or push metals that react to magnetism. When electrons are lined up, we say the metal is magnetized. If the electrons lose that order, the magnet's power can fade. A magnet has two ends, and we call them poles. One end is the north pole, and the other end is the south pole. If you take two magnets and bring their north poles together, you'll notice something interesting. They push each other away. The same thing happens if you bring two south poles together. However, if you bring the north pole of one magnet near the south pole of another, they snap together happily. Magnets follow a simple rule, like poles repel each other, and opposite poles attract each other. It is like they have best friends on the other side and don't get along with poles that are too much like themselves. People often test magnet poles using a compass. A compass is a little device that also has a magnet in it. So the arrow in the compass spins to point north. If you bring a strong magnet near a compass, the arrow may spin around, showing you the power of the magnet's invisible force. This can feel like magic, but it's actually just nature at work, guiding the compass needle to line up with the magnet's field. When we talk about magnetism, we have to mention something called a magnetic field. Think of it like a bubble around the magnet, a bubble you can't see or touch, but you can feel its effects. This field stretches out in all directions, though it gets weaker the farther you move from the magnet. If you sprinkle iron filings around a magnet on a piece of paper, you'll see the filings form curvy lines that show the magnetic field's shape. It's like revealing a hidden map that tracks how the magnet's force flows from North Pole to South Pole. Magnets can be found in nature or made by people. Some rocks, known as lodestone, are natural magnets that have been magnetized deep inside Earth over millions of years. People discovered lodestone long ago and used it in the very first compasses. After that, Scientists learned to make magnets from different metals, like iron, nickel, or cobalt. By lining up the electrons in these metals, we create permanent magnets. They hold on to their magnetism for a long time. There are also temporary magnets, which can be made by touching a piece of steel to a strong magnet. 
The steel might act like a magnet for a little while, but eventually, it loses that alignment. We also have electromagnets, which are very special. An electromagnet is made by wrapping a coil of wire around a piece of iron or steel, then passing an electric current through the wire. When the electricity flows, the metal core becomes magnetic. If you switch off the electricity, the magnetism usually goes away. This is super useful because electromagnets can be turned on and off. Factories use giant electromagnets to lift heavy metal scraps. When they want to drop the scrap, they just switch off the electricity and the metal falls. Electromagnets help build cars, power big machines, and even let us talk on telephones. You might be wondering if Earth itself is a magnet. The answer is yes. Our planet has a giant magnetic field that stretches far into space. Way below our feet, liquid metals swirl around in Earth's outer core. Those moving metals create a magnetic force that extends around the planet. This is why compasses work. They align with Earth's magnetic field, showing us which way is north. Without Earth's magnetic field, we wouldn't have that simple way to navigate. Our planet's field also helps protect us from harmful particles that zoom around in space. Those particles would otherwise slam into Earth more often. The magnetic field acts like a shield, guiding many of those particles away. Magnets appear all around us, more often than we might expect. A refrigerator magnet is usually the first we see as kids, but that's just the beginning. Computers use tiny magnets to store data on their hard drives. Credit cards have a magnetized strip that holds information about your account. Speakers in radios and televisions rely on magnets to move parts inside them and produce sound waves. Even electric motors, which help run fans, electric cars, and washing machines, need magnets to spin their parts. Magnets make our modern world possible, from the smallest gadgets to the largest power plants. For children just like you, magnets are a wonderful way to discover the wonders of science. You can experiment at home by finding little metal objects like paper clips, coins, or nails. See what your magnet can pick up. Notice which objects stick and which ones don't. If something doesn't stick, it probably isn't made of the right kind of metal. Try out different magnets, big ones, small ones, or shapes like horseshoes. You might notice that some magnets are stronger than others, or that certain magnets have different shapes of magnetic fields. Sometimes, people ask if magnets work on everything. The simple answer is no, magnets only attract certain metals, like iron, nickel, and cobalt. Other metals such as aluminum or copper usually aren't attracted to magnets. Non-metal items like plastic, wood, or rubber don't respond to magnets at all. If you hold a magnet near a piece of paper or plastic, you won't feel any pull. That's just the way the magnetic force is wired in nature. Magnets also come in a wide range of strengths. The magnets on your fridge are pretty weak compared to large industrial magnets. Some research labs have magnets that can lift entire cars, thanks to the power of electromagnets. Others create very strong magnetic fields to perform complicated experiments. Magnets in hospital machines called MRI magnetic resonance imaging scanners help doctors see inside the human body, revealing muscles, bones, and organs in high detail. Scientists have studied magnets for centuries, uncovering new ways to use them. We can credit brilliant thinkers like William Gilbert, who studied Earth's magnetic field in the 1500s 
and Michael Faraday, who discovered how to make electric currents with magnets in the 1800s. Their discoveries helped shape our world, giving us electric motors, generators, and new ways to understand the universe. Even today, we're still learning about magnetism, from the smallest electrons to distant galaxies shaped by cosmic magnetic fields. Magnetism is a marvelous force that shows up in unexpected places. Have you ever heard of animals that use Earth's magnetic field to find their way? Some birds seem to sense Earth's magnetic field, guiding them on long migrations without getting lost. Sea turtles also navigate great distances in the ocean, and many scientists suspect they use magnetism as a natural compass. This is just another way that magnets and magnetism affect life on our planet. Without them, many animals might not find their homes or feeding grounds. Then there is the concept of repulsion, the push magnets give each other when they're like poles face. It might be fun to hold two magnets with their north poles close together and feel them push away. Turn one magnet around, so the north faces the south pole of the other magnet, and they snap together quickly. This simple action reveals a fundamental rule of magnets. Opposite poles attract, like poles repel. It's like a secret handshake magnets share with each other. Some kids wonder, can magnets lose their power? The answer is yes, although it may take a long time. If you heat a magnet to very high temperatures or drop it many times, the tiny electron alignment inside can become jumbled. When that alignment is lost, the magnet can grow weaker or stop working altogether. That's why you might see old, beat-up fridge magnets that can barely hold a piece of paper anymore. Or if someone places a strong magnet on a weaker magnet in the wrong orientation, it might partially demagnetize it. Magnets have been around for millions of years in the natural form of lodestone, long before humans discovered them. Ancient explorers used these rocks to make early compasses, helping them sail across oceans. Think of how important that was for discovering new lands and connecting the world. Today, we rely on magnets for tasks big and small. From holding your school art on the refrigerator door to guiding space probes around distant planets, Magnets truly are unsung heroes of the modern world. At home, you might experiment with magnets to learn more about them. For example, place a magnet on one side of a piece of paper and see if you can move a metal paper clip from the other side without touching it. Notice how magnets can even work through certain materials like paper or same plastic. Or try tying a string to a small magnet and swinging it near different metals to feel the tug. Always ask a grown-up if you want to try something with bigger or stronger magnets because they can pinch fingers if they snap together. So why do magnets do what they do? It comes down to the way electrons move in atoms, creating a tiny magnetic field. When lots of these fields line up, we get a powerful effect that can pull objects or push them away. Scientists continue to uncover new secrets about magnetism, like quantum mechanics, which explores the tiniest particles. Even though that might be too advanced for now, just remember that magnets, big or small, are showing you a piece of the invisible forces that hold our universe together. Next time you see a magnet, think about how it's truly a magical force of nature. It's invisible, yet strong enough to lift heavy objects. It's quiet, yet can guide ships across the seas or store music on a cassette tape back in the days before modern devices. Even your credit card has a magnetic strip with information that special machines read. Magnets help us store data, read data, 
and move objects. They're in computers, smartphones, and all kinds of machines that spin or beep. Imagine our world without magnets. Cars wouldn't start the same way. Refrigerators wouldn't close properly, and compasses wouldn't guide explorers. The Earth's own magnetic field helps shield us from harmful space radiation. Birds, turtles, and other wildlife might lose part of their sense of direction without fueling Earth's magnetism. So magnets aren't just cool. They're essential to life, navigation, and technology. Yet for all their power, magnets are often quiet little heroes of science. They appear in everyday life without notice. A child's first wonder might be when they watch a fridge magnet cling to metal, or see iron filings create beautiful patterns around a bar magnet. That pattern is the magnetic field made visible, and it never fails to fascinate curious minds. With just a simple magnet, you can explore forces, motion, polarity, and even a touch of chemistry and physics. And that's the story of magnets, silent forces driven by invisible fields, made visible by their effects on metals and compasses, vital to many machines and even to planet Earth itself. Magnets teach us that sometimes the most extraordinary things in life are the ones we can't see, but can feel. This invisible force can hold pieces of metal together or push them apart. It can help build massive skyscrapers by lifting heavy steel beams, or simply hold a family photo on a fridge door. Its uses are limitless, and our understanding of it grows every day. Thank you for joining this long and exciting journey to learn how magnets work. We've traveled from the tiny electrons inside metal atoms to the giant magnetic field surrounding Earth, discovering how magnets help our machines, our navigation, and our sense of wonder. Whether you're picking up paper clips or guiding an enormous crane, magnets quietly do their jobs to keep our world turning. Keep exploring, stay curious, and never stop asking questions. Science is a grand adventure, and magnets are just one of the many wonders you can learn about. Who knows, one day, Maybe you'll be the one to make a new discovery about magnetism or find a clever new way to use it. The possibilities are endless, and it all starts with your imagination and a simple magnet. See you in our next adventure, Little Explorers. Remember, science isn't just in labs or textbooks, it's all around us even in that little piece of metal that sticks to your fridge. So pick up a magnet, explore your surroundings, and let curiosity guide you through a world filled with invisible yet powerful forces, shapes, and stories. I hope this adventure has helped you understand how magnets work, from the smallest electron spins to the grand arcs of Earth's field. Now you know that magnets aren't just magic. They ray nature is way of showing us how tiny particles can line up and create a mighty force that holds our modern world together. Thank you for listening, and don't forget, every time you stick a magnet on the fridge or pull paper clips together, you're seeing a bit of this fascinating science in action. For more adventures, be sure to follow our channel, where we dive into all sorts of amazing topics and bring the wonders of our world right to you. Keep exploring, little adventurers, and see you soon!